Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at rearranging the formula to make n the subject. So at the moment k is the subject and we're going to change that k to an equivalent formula where n is the subject. Okay, now these type of questions are usually B, A grade at GCSE, so they do take a little bit of working through. However, the general principles are much the same in that whatever we do to the right hand side, we need to also do to the left hand side. So the problem I've got here is I've got this fraction of n plus 1 as the denominator. So if I multiply both sides by n plus 1, and what happens is, is that on the right hand side, it kind of cancels itself out. So you can appreciate that that and that cancel themselves. On the left hand side, however, I still have this n plus 1 to deal with. So the formula itself becomes k times n plus 1 equals 3n plus 2. OK, I hope that's all right with you. If you're not sure about that, if you have a look at some of the other videos on the playlist, that will give you a little bit more help. OK, so the next thing is we need to multiply out the bracket. So I'm going to multiply out the left hand side as Kn plus K. So remember that K times N is Kn and K times plus 1 is going to be plus 1K, which you just write as K on its own. And that equals 3N plus 2. And then really it's just a matter of getting the n terms together on one side and everything else on the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this 3n over towards the left hand side. So if I do that by minusing 3n over here and minusing 3n over here, it means then I end up with kn minus 3n plus k equals 2. All right, then I need to get this k over towards my right hand side here. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to minus k from both sides. And that's going to be great because I'll end up then with a situation where I've got my both of my n terms on the left hand side and everything else to minus k on the right hand side. OK, so the easiest then way of dealing with this is then factorising my n terms because then I can isolate n on its own as being n times k minus 3 equals 2 minus k. And then because this is a multiplication of n, I can then just simply divide through by k minus 3. So what I end up with at the end of it is just a um, expression for n of 2 minus k divided by k minus 3. And that would be the answer to this particular question. However, you could write this in slightly different ways if you wanted to, uh, just to make it a little bit tidier. It's a bit untidy as it is at the moment. Um, so I would probably write that as either something like minus k plus 2. Remember, this is a positive value of 2 divided by k minus 3. Or you could write that as minus k minus 2 divided by k minus 3, uh, whichever way you wanted to, you wouldn't lose any marks whichever way you put this uh, particular formula together, providing all of those were exactly the same which they are at the moment. Um, I hope that's been okay for you. It is a little bit tricky. They are at a higher level um, and uh, if you want to have a look at the playlist that will give you some more examples. Please do like, pin, post, tweet, subscribe to the site. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.